Well, hello and welcome to My Summer Car, or welcome back if you saw the preview episode. This time we're going to start playing this game for real. I had to restart it the last time I ended up uh, killing myself, and it's just going to be easier to restart it. I made the car red this time. Uh, I did that in honor of a friend of mine. As he had a Nissan 210 that was red, and this is basically a Nissan 210, or a copycat of it, I guess, so... In Steve's honor, I made the car red, so maybe that'll get Steve to, I don't know, like the video or subscribe to the channel if he hasn't already. And if you're not Steve, why don't you go ahead and think about doing those two things. Uh, liking and subscribing will give you content to the various games that I play and uh, give me a higher profile and give me an incentive to do more of this stuff. So what we need to do right off the bat is, I guess kind of a little interesting for a right off the bat mission is we need to get wheels that we can drive around in while we're a building this car and b waiting for the van that our uncle's going to show up with and it just so happens there is a vehicle that um we can we can nab and i'm going to first open up this door and we're going to need to Go back to the house, too, because I forgot to uh, grab a couple of items. But I'm going to toss that in there. Hop on into the... Uh, and we'll enter driving mode. We will try to start this thing. Try to start this thing. There we go. Try that again. <sighs> hey, and pop it in the gear. Darn it. And up, pop it in the gear, and then give it gas. There we go. Alright, well, unfortunately, this is. Not the fastest uh, moving vehicle. Since we're stealing a gasoline car, I want to get the gas tank too, as well as the diesel tank that I just threw in the uh, truck here. And that may be found here. There we go. Well, that was weird. All right. <laughs> go ahead and open up the door, run back here, grab the gas tank. And we'll run back out. That's it. And I don't know if we're going to need this um, or not. The... Uh, Probably not, but the car itself, since we're stealing it, we don't have keys. We're going to need the screwdriver to uh, start it. All right. Oh, oh, oh. We have to uh, have to grab our beer. And we're going to probably also go ahead and toss some sausage into this because we don't want to go thirsty or hungry. And go ahead and grab that sausage. No, oh, we got to grab the pizza. I'm going to grab that sausage. Close that. Oh, really? Grab that. And we'll make our way back out to the tractor. Ah, th this may not be necessary. We may not need the sausage. We'll probably need the beer. Did that go out the other side? It sure did. <laughs> wow, I did not realize I had that much of an arm. All right. Okay. Hop in here. Close that. Seems like I should... Uh, 
Yeah, you know what else? We're going to go ahead and order a couple of things from this part catalog. And while we're up here doing the other things that we need to do, then we'll be able to toss this in the post office. So let's go through here, and uh, we want to get this. And we want to get this. Grab that envelope and Aww. see if I can stick it in here yeah good if I can throw uh, sausages through the window I'm able to drop a uh, drop an envelope through the glass too enter the driving mode let's go ahead and get this thing going come on get that oops darn it That going backwards. Darn it. Run up on it here and then fall. Alright. Little tricky cluck it. I guess it's fletchy action. But we're on our way. This is about as fast as we can get there. So I'm going to try to entertain you along the way and point out things that I can point out. And talk about this game a little bit. Most of this game is ways to die in Finland, I'm pretty sure. Um, well, there are probably ways to die everywhere, but it just seems like this game is... I don't know, it's, it's hilariously dark. Yet, it's kind of refreshing in its own weird way. So, you know, you have to avoid dying. And just accept everybody who they are for they are in this game. And, yeah. I'm just trying to think of all the different ways I've died trying just to play this game. And it's, it just seems endless. <laughs> so the, the sights or the graphics aren't perfect by a long shot but what is there with the graphics is pretty nice um, you'll see the clouds pass overhead you'll see uh, the changes in like how the light goes through those clouds on the road it's, you know, there's a lot of stuff I mean like the, the graphics aren't perfect the mirror works And, I don't know, it, it just kind of, it's kind of there, you know, it's, it, it, it does exactly what it needs to do to make its point. The people kind of look crazy in this game. And as the main character, you don't even exist. You never see yourself. Really the hardest part, honestly, in this game, well, so much of it is getting from point A to point B because so much of this game is about, you know, driving the car and, and doing things and going places and, you know, not dying. And there's plenty of obstacles that can kill you. Well, here's another one, uh, the train. I'm going to go ahead and sneak down the track, which may give us an example of dying. And I do have it on permadeath this time, so if we die, we die. I am going to cheat a little bit and uh, save the game. We'll just keep looking for a train. Hopefully we'll hear it as well if it does come this way. And we'll dive out of the way if that happens, of course. Because the train is a lot more powerful than this tractor. Yeah, oops. And when you hit that rail, all sorts of wonderful things happen to this tractor. So we're getting there. There are, there are many weird 
characters in this, and I can't tell if that's a train coming or not. I don't think it is. It sort of has this mirage of it, but I think that's just the tunnel. Or I think we have seen a bit being much larger by now, and maybe us being dead. Oh, that worked out. That cut a lot of time off the trip. So this place we're going, I mean, right now, this little strip that we just turned on to, this is part of the rally track. We're actually going, I don't. I think it goes actually both directions, one direction one day and one the other. Um, and it's kind of a bit of a rough ride um, in the tractor and anything. But the tractor is slow enough that you can kind of deal with it. When you're flying through here as fast as you can in a car, you usually end up uh, in, in a tree or in a ditch or... Uh, yeah, and usually dead. <laughs> and we're coming right along. Um, I say that, we're really not. This is a long, long, long drive. And there's a car that likes to drive around this. I think it's a different direction on different days. And this one isn't going to pose too much of a problem for us um, in this vehicle. But when you're driving around in your regular car, I mean, he'll just smash into it and just do so much damage. If he doesn't kill you, you'll, you'll want to die. Uh, <laughs> it's... And there's a little rally track down there, but I've never really used it for anything. It just seems like it's too small to really do much with it, in my opinion. And again, this just goes and goes and goes. It gets a little better, I think, when we get out on the pavement, but it's still a slow tractor, and so there's still a long ways to go in a lot of this. So. I'm going to go ahead and just speed this up for a little bit. There's no reason to elongate this trip um, just to have too much conversation I think this is this is just a long way in this tractor so I'm gonna fast forward for a while and if I come up with something interesting to point out I'll point it out you're kidding well, I think I have a wanted level now. Um, I'm not supposed to be driving this vehicle on the street. And now they're going to uh, give me a sobriety test. And then I'm going to get a ticket for... How come that guy didn't have to stop? Um, do that. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Break, break. Okay. And hop out. No alcohol. Haven't been drinking, sir. Sweet. And I don't have to get a ticket for driving this. I thought I would. All right. Good. Let's drive forward, I hope, and not kill anybody, and that's got to come down, and let's see, off gear, there we go.
All right. I'm not going real fast. I probably should have waited before I shifted. I can't believe I didn't get a ticket for driving an unlicensed vehicle on the road. The annoying part of this is we're going to see them on the way back, and I was going to fill this up with the cheap diesel, but now I don't want to because I don't want to get a ticket on the way back for filling this driving on the road with the cheap diesel. Oh well, here's our point where we turn off, so... We're really thirsty, so... That guy's on the wrong side of the road. Crazy stuff will happen in this game, like that guy on the wrong side of the road. I mean, another car could have come flying along and they're going to just smash right in front of us. It'll happen before... It'll, it'll happen in this mission at some point. So unfortunately, I... am going to have to get the expensive diesel here, I think. Put on the brake. Get out of driving mode, hop out of this car. Come on. Hey, look at the cap off that, and hopefully I'm not too far forward. And this takes for far longer than it should. Really did not want to spend money filling this thing up with the more expensive diesel. But, like I said, the, the police have kind of made that not really another option. Although we may not see them, honestly. Um, I'm still going to do this, the rest, a little bit more of this. We're not going to fill it up all the way just because it's that expensive and we'll go ahead and fill up the the tank here with uh, with the cheap stuff. This game is weirdly complicated in weird ways. I thought, how do you do that? Oops, not what I wanted to do. I thought that was the same thing. Weird. I mean, the uh, hand goes over the top of it. Oh, I bet I know what it is. I need to hit F, maybe. Yep. Sometimes it's a mouse click. Sometimes you hit F. It's kind of weird. I like this. It's much cheaper. And most of the things that we're going to do in the tractor aren't on the road anyways. And honestly, I thought we were... If we were to gotten a ticket for that, I would have just gone ahead and just filled it up anyways, because... All right, take this back, and then we'll get a thing of gas. All righty. Get the gas can, which is right there. Yeah, of course. Come on. Oh, come on. All right, open that up, grab that. It's astounding. Some of these things, um, the septic tank truck that we're going to be driving at some point in time during this, it, it just takes forever to fill it up with gas. I mean, you can just hold it in this position and, you know, go make food, eat food, come back, and watch it finish. <laughs> and I'm not exaggerating all that much. Um, go ahead and drop that there. Going to grab our envelope. mail 
that. And we'll come in and we'll grab a few things. And a few of these. A few of these. And one of them. And... That's all we're going to get right now. Um, there's more stuff that we'll need to get. Uh, Alright, fine. Pay for that. Take the uh, unbreakable beer. All right. Two stroke engine oil. And take the shopping bag and we'll stand up and we'll wander out the store. Alrighty. And we're going to go ahead and leave those there because I don't really need them right at the moment. I just. Wanted to make sure I bought him before he closed the store. What we're going to do next is go get that car. I just wanted to go ahead and make sure that everything that we needed to do before the store was closed was done. And we'll go ahead and start this. And maybe. All right. Got that. Take off the brake. I can't take off the brake. All right. Let's see, let's go this way. Now I can take off the brake. That's weird. Can I still do the ignition? It's all about where you sit in the car. All right, we're gonna go off gear. And forward. We will come back for that. Um, I promise. If I'm not mistaken, this is the way we need to go. And it's kind of been a while since I've messed around in this game, but I'm pretty sure that we're going to end up going this way. We will end up back on the rally track again, and here we are. So a little ways down this road is a driveway where the dude with pig's feet lives in a cabin and gambles. And one of the things you can do is win this car. Now, we're not going to go to all of the uh, all of the uh, trouble of actually trying to win the car because you can steal it, and that's a lot easier. And uh, the only problem is, is we have to use a screwdriver to start it. So, not the most ethical way to start a game, and maybe there's ramifications because I don't know. The the dude's kind of demonic. Like I said, he has kind of like pig legs or pig feet or something like that and uh, there's a conversation that um, that you have with your grandmother at some point in time during this game where she talks about him and he seems rather demonic from that standpoint looks like we need to have a beer I can't reach the beer that's annoying so we're not like in serious trouble we're not red yet when it gets red, then then there's a problem. It'll get red soon, and then we'll deal with it. We have one more one more driveway to go. And then we will have to travel down that long path. And, you know, again, I, I apologize for the, the, the time we're driving in this in this poor tractor, but this will make things better, and what could be better than stealing a car on your very first mission in this game? Now, here's the driveway we're looking for. everything we want and I believe this is where the car is oh. Darn it. really Let's 
break for a minute. Now, nah, one of these is the hydraulics, I think. All right, I think what we can do. Darn it. Who, who, who saw that coming? Well, I thought we could get in with this. How annoying. This is all for naught. I'm gonna be annoyed. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's the car we want. And it's got a hornet's nest in it. And oh, we can open it. We can just open it. Sweet. All right. So I did say it had a hornet's nest in it, and we have a way to deal with all of these things. I thought we had to knock those doors down, so that worked out pretty well. That's why I was trying to hit it with the tractor. We will go ahead and enter driving mode. We will start this thing and turn it around. Maybe. Take out the brake before I do anything. Why is that not doing it? It's so weird that it is. There we go. So I want to turn this way. Darn it. here and then it's gonna right, and we'll lift that off and go down. Darn it. This is so painful and it really should be this bad. <laughs> Alright, good enough, I hope. Get out of here. break on should have it really should have a tow hook down here someplace someplace there we go towing hook and we're gonna attach it to someplace here there ought to be a place to put this There we go. Towing hot. Boom. All right. So we're going to come out here. Hop in here. And I did say that it had a hornet's nest in it. So we have to. Oh, I need to get a beer. And I'm going to get another one. So one way we can take care of the hornet's nest is to Oops. Let's do this again. Is we can put it the uh, car in the water. And that's what we're going to do. So Should be right behind us still, and so in the water we go with it. So ignition again. And then pump there. Darn it. I 
I believe that looks to be in the water. Let's verify that it is, in fact, in the water. But it looks to be in the water for me. To me. Really? Well, it's not in the water probably enough. So... Eh, what's the worst that can happen? We'll back up just a little bit. Hopefully the tractor itself won't get lodged in there. We're going to go ahead and take the range selector down. There we go. May as well have that in low for what we're about to do. And do driving mode. It won't go any further in there, so. Wow, I am. Am I actually trapped? Wow. Well, that sucks. Well, you'll let me go that way. There we go. Alright, so we're going to try this again with gear. Wow, that was more painful than it should have been. It still is. <laughs> okay. We are going to do this, I promise. Darn it. The hardest part on this thing, honestly, is getting this thing to stay started. All right, and we're going to take that, do that. Gear up and then darn it, and then we're gonna. All right, and God damn it! This is really crazy. This time for sure, I think. We're gonna do it. We've done it. We have done it. Take this out of here, and this is going to be really slow for a minute until I can uh, get us into a uh, back on the road and hopefully into the high range. We may not be able to do the high range right at the moment. What we may need to do, honestly, is to unfortunately stop this for a second. Get out of this. Hop back into the car now that we can get into it without too much fear. But I think the hornet's nest is in there. Really? The hornet's nest is in there, but I think we have managed to neutralize it. Boy, I hope we have. We're going to go ahead and take the brake off. That will help towing quite a bit. Okay, hop in. Let's hop around the other side. It's easier. Well, maybe it would have just been easier to. All right, you hop up enough times, and there you are. So we'll enter back into driving mode, and we'll start this thing. And boy, I hope this works this time. Oh, jeez. Here we go. And we're still, you know, we're still towing a car, so this is, uh, this is still not exactly uh, going to be a fast trip.
But we have a car now, and that car is going to be a much, much, much faster thing to drive around than this. And we may get we may get some issues with the car, um, like it's not licensed either. But it's just going to be infinitely better than anything we can do in this tractor. So when we get back to town, we'll go ahead and uh, load up the groceries and we'll shoot back. And I think because of the trip and because of the speed that all of this is going, um, uh, I may have to fast forward through some of this. Now one thing you'll notice is my stress is getting high. One of the easiest ways to deal with that is to spam swear words. And they're all translated, but they're all in Finnish. So this is part of the game mechanism. So. So presumably, if I ever get big enough to monetize, this won't be my fault. We'll <laughs> spam this until the stress comes down. Hard to, uh, to keep this on the road while towing that other car. It sometimes seems to get a mind of its own. All right, we're getting up here, and all right. And we'll go ahead and come down here, and go ahead and grab our. Grab our groceries, just toss them in the car. Take the unbreakable bottles and then pass them through the wall of the car. Because that's what we do. And I'm doing this while squatted because it's easier than not. Okay. Well. We could fill... Yeah, that's all right. I'm just going to use the gas can and fill it up, and he doesn't have... It's not open to fill it up with gas, so... One of the reasons why I brought the gas can. I don't think we have enough. We need a drink here. Hopefully we won't see those police. Nah, yeah, they're probably gone. It's late. Let's hope. And we're going to enter driving mode. We're going to start this thing, and... What in the world? Oh, God. I have to get to a place in this seat where I can hit the parking brake. And I can't seem to keep the engine running while that's all going down, so. All right. Well, we're on our way home. It's starting to get dark, and so we're going to turn on the lights. And we can hope it doesn't start raining, because that always happens at convenient times. <laughs> Alright, I am going to just hop out here and... Uh, kind of drive home. Um, I will um, 
I will basically speed this up because this is going to be really bad with this car in tow. And it's going to take forever. I wonder if we can do, like, mischief with it. No, it doesn't look like it. I got it tied too close. I was seeing if we could swing it around a little bit. Um, we are going slow. And, like I said, I'm just going to fast forward through this and be quiet um, for the rest of this. Otherwise, this is just going to be excruciating uh, for you to watch. Oh, there are the police again. I, I hope I didn't drink too much beer. But the way that speed this thing's going, uh, I, I don't think it's going to matter. <laughs> Kind of crazy that we have to stop for these guys again. But of course we do. Now watch us get a ticket for having an unlicensed car. Alright, I'm just going to park back here so I have plenty of place to start this again without, without hitting him. And, okay, nobody's coming. Go ahead and walk here. He's going to make me take this breathalyzer. All right. I am under the legal limit, so we're good. Other than the fact that I have to uh, do all of this Mickey Mouse again. Uh, we'll go enter. Can I touch this? No, of course not. How come they don't have to stop? It's only I that have to stop. The poor dude in the tractor. All right. Off we go. I'm pretty sure I just saw the train go by a little bit ago, so I am going to hope that's what I saw, and we're going to go this way, because I really don't want to make this trip with this car any longer than I have to, so here's hoping. I'd, we're almost to the house. Otherwise, I would stop and try to eat sausage because I'm obviously pretty hungry at this point in time. But that's that bend that has the good view. So we're really close to the house. And right now, I don't know if I could find the sausage. I can't just reach down and grab it while I'm driving. And I don't know if I could find it if I stopped. And that would exacerbate the problem. So what I am going to do is just shoot this along as fast as we can and run into the house as soon as we get there and grab something from the refrigerator. There's some place over here. There's a light switch. There we go. And we will grab that pizza. And now we're thirsty. We're still hungry. Hold on. Close. We're just going to drink water because the beer's out in the car. And there we go. Take care of that thirst with the water. Not as tasty as the beer, but 
we do what we have to do. Now let's come back over here and let's eat this macaroni, I guess is what that is. Ah, no hunger no more. Alrighty, let's go out and I should probably turn that off, but that's alright. I don't even know if I can see well enough to unhook all of this, but Nope. <laughs> All right, so we have a car to use. It's late, and we can't really do too much else. Um, that's going to turn off. There's no battery for this that I am aware of, but can I reach it? I thought it was said lights. Yeah, there it is. There it goes. Really? There we go. All right, so we're going to go in here. And we're going to go, you know, what, what time is it? Wow, it's kind of late. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and urinate. And then we're going to sleep. And then I think we're going to save after that. In fact... Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We need to sleep before we save. Um, this guy's too fatigued out. So, we'll do that real quick. We'll see a little bit of daylight for a mere moment. And come on. Go in here, go in here. Should be able to sleep. All right, I'm going to run in here, and we'll go ahead and save the game. And I thank you for watching me play my summer car. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, and be safe.